Dick Clark, the Smothers Brothers, Tom Poston, the recording stars Restless Heart, so a uh, big week coming up. And I'm excited this lady is here. Ann Murray is celebrating 20 years on Capitol Records. I don't know, she has so many credits, I don't know where to begin. Uh, the first solo female Canadian ever given a U.S. gold record. That was, of course, for Snowbird. Yeah. <laughs> Grammys, American Music Awards, Country Music Awards. She'll be at the Las Vegas Hilton January 24th through 29th. Right now, she's going to sing a song called Now and Forever, You and Me, from her album, Something to Talk About. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Ann Murray. Uh, to you, to you as yes, well. Dan, I met Dan, him earlier uh, today, but... Before that, he interviewed me in Nashville about nine years ago, and he didn't think I remembered, but I explained to him what we talked about. He's the first person who ever told me what grits were. Grits. We discussed <laughs> I didn't know what... Now, what, what exactly are grits, Dan? I don't know. Oh, they're... <laughs> they're little tiny things. Look you like don't dirt. have grits in Canada? They're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should start slow and just eat, eat like a grit, and don't, you know, you kind of build up to it later. I think I'd, you have I'd... to... Acquire a taste. Now, we have a well-behaved uh, group here. and are uh, yeah, Audiences ever give you uh, trouble? Oh, yes. Uh, I always uh, have, I think everybody has hecklers. I especially, because I, I ask for it. How, how's, how's that? Well, because I, I play with them a bit, you know. Mm -hmm. But I had, uh, the last time I was heckled was in Toronto, and a guy yelled right in the middle of the show, show us your boobs. Now, <laughs> now, now, he didn't use boobs. He used a word that you're not allowed to say on oh, television. He said Winnebago's no. on television? <laughs> I'm shocked. Now, it starts with T and ends with S, yeah. and you're good with letters. Yeah. <laughs> Which is right, she's right. Uh, so what do you do? You just move on? Or, well, I'll uh, tell you what you, you do. The first you thing do, you do is you, you say, pardon? Yeah, good idea. Just to sort of gather yourself, because yeah. you, you panic, you see. So I said, pardon, and he said it again. And I said, oh, you noticed. <laughs> well, then, of course, you go on, and then I forget what I said, because he said it like four times until I was almost ready to get, get up and throw him out bodily myself. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, you live in Canada. Yes. You're, uh, you're from Canada. It's yeah. your home. Okay. The, uh, did I read that your, your Christmas special last year was like the highest rated show on the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation? Yes, it was. For the yes, year? we had a 43% share, which wow. means that 43% of Canadians were watching television. We're talking Super Bowl numbers yeah, there. Yeah, it just was about. really, I was really pleased. You know, it's appalling. It really is, and I'm as guilty of it as anyone, how little Americans know about Canada compared to how much Canadians know about yes. America. And I'm going to try to do better in 1989. Good. That's my, that's my Geography. plan. Geography. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't think I could name all the provinces. I'm. I'm embarrassed to say. So well, don't... if you can name two, you're doing better than 90 percent of most yeah. Americans. I think. You have uh, two kids. I have two children. Yeah. They're 12 and nine. Right. Yeah. Who do you admire? Who do you like to sit back and listen to when you're listening to music? Oh boy. Uh, lately, Anita Baker. I like. It. There's a group from Toronto called Blue Rodeo who are fabulous. Uh, let me think. I listen to everybody. Elton John. I'm a big fan of Elton John. I like Merle Haggard. I, I mean, I listen to classical music, I listen to jazz, I listen to everything. Pretty good bunch. And we're going to listen to you a little bit later on. In the meantime, stay Great. right there. We'll I take will. a break. We'll be back with C. Thomas Howell in a minute. <laughs>